In this video, we are going to be talking about a few skills that are going to help you acquire sustained success. First of which is planning. In one of our videos, we talked about the 10-10-1 plan. If that's still not working for you and if you still feel like you are not that good at planning, here's a roadmap exercise for you. Set your goal at the finish line and then work backwards. Think to yourself, what all things do you need to do uh, in order to achieve that particular goal? And, you know, brainstorm ideas and solutions to all of your problems that come in the way and then narrow them down to three goals. So basically, you have one main goal and then three smaller goals to achieve that one main goal. Let's say you want to become a successful product designer or let's say you want to become a product designer at Google. What your three sub goals or smaller goals would be? First, to get enrolled into a university for a product designing course. For that, you'll have to prepare for GRE, GMAT and all sorts of exams that come in the way. Second would be to give your best in the university and to, you know, practice all of the product design techniques and learn in a better manner. The third goal would be to get a really good job. Let's say at Google, if not at Google, anywhere, so that you can get exposure, experience, and give your best and become a really good product designer so that maybe you can land up in Google or any other company that you dream of. The second important skill is confidence. Feel confident that you can get your job done, that you can get several things done. Have faith in yourself, have faith in your skills. Don't forget that you can always grow on a job no matter how challenging it is. What you also need to know is that there's a very thin line between confidence and overconfidence. Overconfidence means you tell yourself that you can do this particular thing easily, but you don't put any efforts into making it happen. Confidence means you again tell yourself that you can do this particular thing easily, but it accompanies persistence and effectiveness. Also make sure that you keep learning new stuff every time you get a chance to do so. When you keep adding stuff to your skill set, you turn out more confident. Finally, you need to acquire these two important skills of positivity and leadership. When things get messy, do not falter, do not think it in a wrong way, do not take it in a negative manner. Take it in a positive manner. Feel gratitude that you get to learn something new. Feel really obliged to the particular situation and no one can stop you from growing. Leadership, it may not come that easy. I mean, it will happen eventually, it will happen naturally when you start taking responsibility for your own actions. Becoming self-dependent in your decisions, not agreeing every time people ask you to agree and not asking for permission every now and then is first step towards becoming a great leader. Now that you know what to do, you just have to go ahead and do it. Start small, but dream big. Create a few videos, start a blog, uh, sell your amazing products online, uh, learn coding, interact with new people, learn new skills, go and learn music if you want to. I mean, it's just like how Nike's slogan says, just do it.